Hi, my name is Azim Sundrani, and today I will be talking about the evolution of the laptop. The first portable computer that you see in front of you is called the IBM 5100. It weighed approximately 50 pounds, had a small screen, a keyboard, and was also came with software. Now, the starting price for this first portable computer that came out in September of 1975 went from anywhere uh, at $9,000 to $20,000. This portable computer was not cheap just because it wasn't the early beginning of its uh, lifetime and the configurations just for this unit varied. Um, the higher you went in the configuration, so the faster processor, the applications, the more expensive it got and closer to $20,000. Ever since the first portable laptop was built, manufacturers have been trying to improve the idea of portability and performance when it came to laptops. The goal in its entirety was to try and fit all the work you have to do into one portable machine, such as a laptop. Some of the problems we face today with laptops is limited battery life. Unfortunately, due to the demand of portability, the trade-off has been smaller battery packs. The way some manufacturers have been able to get around this is to better optimize their operating systems for their devices to work more efficiently and use less power, therefore using less battery. The changes that laptops have made over time have been due to the high demand of better performance on the go. As the world has been changing, so has the daily job. People use technology now more than ever and need a laptop that can basically help them run their lives. As more time goes by, so does the need for faster computing, which is why there are always new computers with faster hardware every six to eight months. These ongoing factors are what drive more innovation for better laptop performance and hardware. Due to the endless possibilities with laptop configuration, design, and performance, there will never be a stability to which laptops will attain. Laptops are like clothes. There is no one size that fits all. There will always be advancements that manufacturers will make to perfect their laptop. In the future, we should be able to look at technology that people can better interface with. A lot of manufacturers also do not want to go into development with more expensive technology, even if it's more advanced and better performing due to the cost. The price of production would essentially not be beneficial for the manufacturer in the long run. The price of technology has not caught up with the ideas that developers want to implement because the production costs outweigh the long-term benefits. As you can see in the image with the young man wearing what seems to be large glasses is a portable computer which was developed by Microsoft. The purpose of this computer was basically to have a laptop that uses human sensory interface as inputs. It would track your eye movement and hand gestures to use the Windows operating system. Innovations like these are not yet available to the average consumer due to the cost of parts. If something like this did hit the market, the minimum price would be $4,000 at the least for the base configuration. The innovations on what a laptop is has changed and has greatly been developed to better serve us in our daily needs. Hopefully one day we can break that barrier of man and technology to fully interface with laptops, but as of right now we are slowly working towards that goal.